you know why I called you here tonight, don't you? Why are you attacking like that? It's creepy. Step it. We've got to get the show back. I've got a plan. In, 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 in. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review. Joey Badass, 1999. Joey Badass is a New York rapper. This is his new mixtape. He's a part of a New York-based rap outfit click group, whatever you want to call it, pro era. Cur cur currently him and this tape are riding off the hype of, of two really great songs and, and music videos for the tracks, Survival Tactics and Hard Knock. Really two of my, my favorite hip hop songs of this year. From the production, there are some original beats on here from Chuck Strangers, a producer that Joey Badass works with quite a bit on this tape. He even has a few guest verses. And there's beats on here too from Jay Dilla, MF Doom, Knowledge, and Static Selecta too. All producers who, through their beats, express a really deep love for an older hip hop sound. The beats on this tape just bow down and, and worship unapologetically albums like The Low End Theory, Illmatic, Re Reasonable Doubt, Mad Villainy, 36 Chambers. All the drums on this thing sound like they were lifted off of, of really old school drum machines or warped old cassette tapes or just crackling dusty vinyl, Dur dirty kicks, snares, and hi-hats coming off every single song. Lots of jazz samples, soul and funk as well. Just all that stuff you remember from that boom bap era. And the thing is, for the most part, it sounds great. One of my favorite songs on here, Survival Tactics, is just this piece of hard-nosed Wu-Tang worship. Everything about this track breathes Wu-Tang from the piano sample to the lyrical style. But the thing is the track is so friggin' good and lyrically cunning, it's hard for me not to love it. Between Joey Badass and a guest on the track, Captain Steez, another pro era member, there are a lot of layers of lyrical wordplay, making people P.E. nuts like elephants, but throw them in the trunk if they hate, though. Or when Captain Stee says King Arthur when he swung his sword, or King Author, I ain't even used a pen in like a month or four. These guys actually come together again on the next track and completely kill it twice. The song Hard Knock comes right after. It's a sadder track on this album, has this very depressing, descending chord progression that actually reminds me a lot of the song from the last Roots album, but with more of a vintage flavor and Joey Badass and, and the feature on the track, CJ Fly, another pro era member, kind of trades stories about kind of being caught up in the downward spiral of just hood life with a lot of gritty lyrics and sincerity. Another few tracks on here kind of muse over Joey's past, his everyday life, his aspirations, songs like Waves, Snakes, and another one of my favorites, Daily Routine, which has a beautifully produced beat. Even though there are a lot of songs on here that I love, there's just too many tracks that I feel are not as impressive, just kind of passable. The song Where It's At just kind of feels really mundane, where Joey is describing this kind of party situation that really isn't interesting at all. And on the song Righteous Minds, uh, actually on a few tracks on here, Joey will spit with a pretty relentless flow and, and bring some pretty dense verses, but he's not really performing it with any passion or heart and really kind of sounds unexciting. And women can kind of be a so-so subject for Joey, too. The song Penny Royal, which I think was a great song, uh, write it, which I think is a great song. At the very first lyric of the track, Joey tells you that it is a love song gone wrong. That it is. However, other tracks like Funky Hose and Don't Front kind of feel like paranoid assumptions about women fueled by a few bad experiences and maybe some general awkwardness with women. The last track on here is an 11 minute posse track featuring pretty much all the pro era crew members and 
even though it isn't one of my favorites on the album, I think it's pretty much a feat that this very young up and coming crew actually pulled together such a long posse track that is worth listening to all the way through. Overall, 1999 to me is a very good tape. I feel like some tracks on here definitely feel more well-developed than others in terms of wordplay, in terms of the hook, the lyrical subject matter, and the instrumental too. There's just a good chunk of songs on here that only feel okay, kind of like they're laying back on their boom bap sound, just kind of hoping that alone will make them sound impressive and classic. Without question, I do love the boom bap style that Joey is going for. Some of my favorite records of all time have been made in it, but it's not like I think it's the be all end all of hip hop. I think hip hop can go more places than this. Of course there's room for revivalism, but if you're gonna go down that road, Make sure the songs themselves are more well-groomed and bring some more original production to the table. That's all. Feeling a decent to strong seven on this, you should listen to it. If you're a hip-hop fan, you're looking for another up-and-coming MC, looking for a new face and a few fantastic singles, then get on this thing. Joey Badass, 1999. What did you guys think of it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? And what should I review next? Thanks for watching. Anthony Fantano, Joey Badass, 1999, forever.